Hey YouTube, um, I would have a quick video um, about a problem I've had with this furnace. Uh, we ended up losing our ability for it to turn itself on, to ignite on its own. And so what, we're, what I figured out, so uh, this is the pressure switch and I replaced the switch assuming it was bad because um, I can right now the it's calling for heat at the thermostat I can pinch this tube and release it and it will actually actuate that switch and then you'll see it ignite got a good burn so I assume the switch was bad, but I've realized that that was not the issue. The issue is actually down here in the circuit board. And the reason I know that is because the induction motor right here won't shut off. Even after this furnace will go to temp. So I have it set to uh, whatever temp, 70 or 72 or whatever. When it reaches 72, it will kick off. and the induction fan will run and it's supposed to run for a while to clear out the heat and the gases out of the heat exchanger but it never shuts off and so that's an indication that there's a bigger problem than just the pressure switch so I guess a couple lessons here first of all you can run your furnace with this problem as long as you pinch the vacuum tube long enough just pinch it for a minute or a moment and release it it'll pull enough vacuum to through the induction motor to start the furnace as long as it's calling for heat so that's lesson one if you're in a in a cold house and you need heat you can at least manually start it it'll kick off when it reaches temp and you'll have to restart it again um, but at least you can have some heat um, the second thing is is that obviously once if you have a problem like this and that induction motor is running continuously that means the circuit board in your in your system is bad and inside this case there's a circuit board uh just so you understand i'm not i'm not i always condone talking to a professional about this before you do anything but um you can turn this furnace off at the breaker go in here unhook everything it's pretty it's really a plug and play deal there's a bunch of plugs and uh wires you have to unhook but it's not beyond anyone's ability um anyone with any mechanical aptitude i should say and you can install that new i bought a brand new circuit board this is an old furnace this furnace was installed in 1993 and it's currently 2020 so this furnace has way exceeded its life expectancy it's an 80 percent a mana this is not a good furnace brand, just FYI, but um, this furnace has done the job for a long time. The heat exchanger is in good shape. Really, it's, I mean, we're on borrowed time with this furnace. We're going to have to replace it eventually. But I just wanted you to know that if you're having this problem where the induction motor spins and, and constantly, and it'll actually push cold air through the house because it's just, you know, spinning that motor. Um, not the big not the big motor the little motor the little induction motor up here if that's spinning continuously you have a bad circuit board and you need to get it replaced so my recommendation is, you know consult professional help but in a pinch uh, this this switch can be actuated manually go turn your thermostat up be sure that you know you have your fused switch on and uh, while that induction motor is spinning, if you pinch that tube, it will fire the furnace until it reaches temp. It'll shut off, and then you'll have to go back and do it all over again. Better than not having any heat at all, especially if you're in a really cold climate where you could uh, potentially have frozen pipes or something like that. So hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, I don't know. We're probably going to replace this furnace. Uh, the 90% efficient furnaces have plastic tubing and this looks like it would be a nightmare to get a plastic PVC pipe out the roof but I don't know we're on the fence about what we're gonna do with it so 
in any case uh, yeah quick uh, quick lesson about starting a furnace if it's um, you know and if you're in a pinch and also how to uh, diagnose the induction motor spinning continuously so 